Hello, I'm Dr. John Davis with iAssociates, and uh, today we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, computer progressives and also about traditional progressives and kind of what those differences are. For years now, we've had progressive lenses as part of our kind of ensemble of different lenses that are available for us to use for our patients. Um, distance lenses were kind of the very traditional lens that people would use to correct for far away vision. Um, a lot of people went to reading glasses as their age in increased and they needed some help for close up vision. Uh, bifocals were a lens that a lot of people used to kind of give the option of going back and forth between distance and near. But with the advent of the newer technology that existed with progressive lenses, most patients have moved away from traditional reading glasses or even bifocal lenses into these progressive types of lenses. And progressives are kind of like a utility player in baseball might be. Um, it's a lens that gives us a little bit of everything. It, it can do distance vision, it can do intermediate vision, it can do near vision, and it does all of those things pretty well, but it's not an all-star in any of those areas. It really isn't ideal for long-term use at the computer or long-term reading. Um, great for distance vision, great for running to the grocery store and um, you know, checking the ingredients label, that kind of thing, but not really great for long-term close-up use. So one of the things that has changed recently in the technology that's available to us is that we now have a what we call a computer progressive lens, and that's a lens that's designed to give us more intermediate area, which is kind of our computer length, computer distance, you might say, and then also a very large area for near. And different from the traditional progressive lenses, which had a fairly narrow area for intermediate and near viewing, this particular lens has a very wide area for your intermediate viewing. So, for example, you have a computer set up, and many of us have not just one monitor, but two or even three monitors. And with a traditional progressive lens, you would have to really move your head back and forth, bob back and forth, and point towards each of those uh, particular monitors to get a good view. Now with a computer lens, we're really able to scan back and forth and look at those two or three monitors just by small head movements or even just eye movements. And we have a very wide area to use with that particular type of lens. And the same is true of the near uh, portion of that lens. So if we were to look at the way a progressive lens is kind of designed, um, a progressive lens has a very large distance area with a narrower or smaller intermediate area as you move from the midsection of that lens down to the lower section. And then again, a very small area for near. And there is some distortion to the sides, both left and right. When they design this lens and they make this lens to adjust power from top to bottom or increase power from top to bottom, we end up with some distortion out to the sides and that narrows the area for both the intermediate and near. With the newer computer progressive lens, instead of having a large distance area, we now have a very large intermediate area. And because there's less change from just intermediate to near, the dioptic train change, rather the dioptic, dioptric change or the additional power that's used is much less as we go from intermediate to near than it was from distance to near. And as a result, we have much less um, distortion out to the sides of the lens. So now we have a very large, wide intermediate area and a very large, wide near area. And just as kind of a bonus with these lenses, they do include a very small kind of sliver of distance vision at the top of that lens so that you have the capability of being able to tip your head down and see someone who walks into your office, maybe see their name tag or the expression on their face. Again, not something that you would use for everyday use. This isn't something you would drive in or watch TV in, but for your office work, for that setting where you're at your desk, it's gonna give you really fantastic intermediate vision. It's gonna give you great near vision and the ability to go back and forth seamlessly between those two areas. So kind of in summary, a, a progressive lens, traditional progressive lens is kind of our everyday use lens that we will use outside of our office or workspace. Um, again, great for driving, watching TV, sporting events, running errands, so to speak. Um, a computer lens is really designed for use at our desk or in our work situation where we're really 
concentrating on intermediate and close-up type of activities and really designed for that purpose. So that's kind of an overview of the different types of lenses that we use or the different progressive lenses that we have and really this newer technology with computer lenses. Um, computer progressive lenses are really kind of that latest, greatest technology and really has become a, a really integral and big part of our practice now. Thank you.